Cubs, of course, uh, you know, looking good in first place in the NL Central, but why did the Cubs feel they needed to make this move right now? Well, two things. Number one, I would say maybe a, a bit of nostalgia. Three years and one day ago, a no-hitter for Cole Hamels at Wrigley Field, so maybe some of that good mojo is still there. But more importantly, Mike, their rotation in Chicago has been a disappointment, at least in terms of their big acquisitions last winter time. Hugh Darvish, major contract. Tyler Chatwood, a big one as well. Chatwood leads the major leagues in walks right now. Darvish still on the DL. Eric, they had to find a way to upgrade that rotation and maybe moving back to the National League out of the Texas heat. Two good changes there for Cole Hamels. Yeah, yeah I mean, they hope so. He, you know, he didn't pitch well at home, and he also didn't pitch well in day games. In day games, an ERA over eight. Mm -hmm. Cubs, they've got a number of day games left. I, the move is, like JP mentioned, more nostalgic for me than anything because I, you can still go into a, a, a playoff series and just go with those three, Lester, mm -hmm. Hendricks, and, and Quintana. I still, I still think that they need to get somebody for the bullpen. I mean, that's where it's more important. Yes, is, is Hamels better than, than Chatwood, and is he better than, you know, I mean, Darvish, who knows what's going to happen right there. So it is an upgrade. There's no question about it. But do I think it's a difference maker? Not unless things change for Cole Hamill. So you still feel like the Dodgers are the team to be in the NL despite this movie? I do, I do, I do. I, li I like the Dodgers. They're getting, they're getting healthier. They're going to have more pitching options. And they still may make a move. You, you mentioned the, the bullpen. Uh, could that be a possibility there, JP? For the Cubs, yes. And they, they've been linked to a number of different relievers as time has gone on. One of the biggest sellers of bullpen actually happens to be within their very same division, the Cincinnati Reds. But the Miami Marlins have some bullpen pieces to move, as do the Texas Rangers. Again, of course, they've already been talking to them about Hamels. The one thought I have, too, about Hamels in general, Eric, is this. Ten years ago, he was the World Series MVP. Mm -hmm. And I'm not mm -hmm. saying he is like Justin Verlander a year ago, but sometimes when you get the elite competitors out of a competitive environment, and the Rangers have not been competitive this year, that there's maybe that, a bit of that rejuvenation that goes on for him going to Wrigley Field, independent race, big games in that ballpark. You know, you, know, you know the ballpark so well. That has a way of, I think, restoring that drive and that focus that maybe was waning. Well, more. and I think there's something to be said about that. But also remember Verlander going to Houston. I mean, there was a complete change in analytics as far as what yes. he was experiencing in Detroit and then what he saw in Houston, and, and that has changed the way he pitches. And perhaps it's good to get out of that Texas heat. I mm -hmm. used to be down yes. in Texas. It's <laughs> torturous on any player that plays down there in Arlington, especially at home. Maybe that's why he's been doing better on the road as well. So the Yankees making some moves uh, to their pitching. Uh, once again, uh, Zach Britton earlier this week, and then they bring in Jay Happ. How does this upgrade this team in the American League? This is for, I think, as we talked before, Eric, this is about both the regular season and the playoffs. But the key thing for me, I look at acquisition cost at this time of year. And the Yankees are so well run right now, and their farm system is so deep. They gave up two position players, not from their pitching group, two position players who didn't really factor into their club right now. Brandon Drury has been superseded at third base by Andujar, and then you've got Billy McKinney traded now three times. So they were able to protect their farm system depth. And, Eric, this is a very, very strong acquisition, I believe, by the Yankees. Well, it is, and it's really targeted towards the Boston Red Sox, mm -hmm. and it's to win the division. And I say that because of his domination of some of the Red Sox players. And, yeah. and I don't mean just, well, he's had a little bit of success. You look at his career numbers against Benintendi, Mm -hmm. He's 0 for 15, Benintendi. 0 for 15. Bogarts does not hit well against him. Betts does not hit well against him. So this is, like I said, it's team specific. Now, there is one player on the Boston Red Sox that does do well, and it's ironic. They were former teammates. JP pointed that yes. out earlier. Uh -huh. Steve Pierce, he absolutely wears out half. He's had 20, I think, was it 28 at-bats, seven extra base hits, Five home runs. That's so pretty good. That's the, uh, <laughs> you know, that's, that is Hap's kryptonite. And, and like you mentioned, uh, he's pitched well against the Boston Red Sox, but he's now pitching in New York where it hasn't been good for other pitchers coming in and pitching in that environment. How do you think he'll do there? I think the fact that he's pitched in the World Series actually against the Yankees in 2009 with the Phillies helps. He's pitched in the American League East now at a number of different occasions. That helps as well. I think that he's, he's a veteran pitcher. Jay Happ has a very, as they say about pitchers, a steady heartbeat. He is not flustered by many things. I think that demeanor, he, 
he seems like a Yankee. He seems like he's going to be able to handle it very well. And you can never pr predict it all the time, Eric, but I think he's somebody that I believe in this role will handle it better than, say, Sonny Gray did one year ago. And, and I think this is more an acquisition for the season, mm -hmm. not so much as a, as a playoff impact acquisition. And like I said, this is to win the division. This is not, well, he's going to be our number two guy. I mean, that still remains to be seen who that may or may not be, but it's to win the division.